Hey guys and welcome to Petroped and welcome to my COVID-19 daily vlog uploading a new video every evening at 6 p.m. to keep you sane during lockdown. Well I'm kind of back to work this week I'm delivering some online training for one of my clients and I've been sat in this chair looking at that screen all day and I've got it for the rest of the week as well but I'm happy because I'm earning. But I thought I would bring you another Peddler's Rides and I haven't done a coronavirus for quite some time. So first up we have a couple of Peddler's Pups for you. First one we have Dill sent in by Peter Russell. Thank you Peter, lovely photograph. And then sent in by Jay and Deb Yosis we have Bailey. Now Bailey I'm very impressed at how you're balancing on that log nearly as much as I'm impressed with Deb balancing on the log behind you. <laughs> but yes, so if you want to send me a picture then my email is in the description below. Now then, for the first video this evening, we are off to some guys I first met when I was actually racing in the Enduro KA Championship last year at Donington Park. The guys from Shine Automotive. And they have an unhealthy car collection. That's all I'm going to say. Over to you, boys. Hi, Colin here, and welcome to Shine Automotive. engine that was in it, taking that out and put the 1.6 in. We've got the suspension that we're doing, an exhaust, doing all the brakes, converting all the brakes around and we're sticking a turbo on it. So this will be absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to uh, get this one done. So we're going outside now, we're going to have to do a voiceover because it's far too windy. So let's check out the cars. Now then we're taking a look at my daily which is a 2011 Mazda MX-5 Kendo. We're having a walk around it now and I've had this car from brand new and I absolutely love it. And what modifications are we going to be doing Colin? I think we're going to look on probably lowering it, maybe do some engine upgrades. Um, we'll see how we go, see how the channel goes as well. But I absolutely love the car and it sticks to the road like glue. So heading over now, this is our Renault 25 barn find that you'll see we've done a series on YouTube. And we're still going through it. We had to do a windscreen, which was a nightmare trying to find. And uh, yeah, it's coolant a, radiator. Yeah, a coolant radiator. We're putting it as well. What else did we do, Sam? Full service yeah. gearbox to service. Yeah, and we've got some bits to do on the brakes as well. So yeah, it's all electric and everything works. Electric seats, absolutely fantastic car. And then this is our road trip car. We went to Benidorm last year in it and we were planning on doing rust to roam this year but because what's going on in the world we had to put that on hold it's 1.8 8 valve and uh it's a proper car that we did two and a half thousand miles in it was it sam that's correct so yeah the cavalry there we go that's the cavalry mm -hmm. and then moving on to my autograss car which is 1.68 valve uh the classic stock hatch meant to be a non-contact sport as you can see the panel works very straight and tidy Fully stripped out with a fully welding cage. That's won many titles and championships. I won fastest man on grass in 2018 and came second in the nationals as well, which was a big feat. But I just fancied something different and then we started going into circuit racing. And I heard about a new championship well, series getting done, which was the Endura car, which we're looking at now, which is a standard 1.3 engine and you have to buy a safety equipment off the... Uh, the company Burton Power, specialist brakes, suspension, poly brushes uh, and a roll cage from safety devices. So I have actually raced against Petroped in this. He was racing with Alex in Alex's car which is peak performance reviews. So we had some good battles. Got the seat there, we normally don't have a passenger seat in it but we were planning on doing the uh, open event starting at Brands Action and going around the M25 but that sadly got cancelled as well. So we're moving on to the sports car which is a 1.6 and we bought this purely and simply because the floor pan has never had any welding. It's got some quite nice mods but some we're going to be taking off and we're going to be uh, put, 
featuring this in the channel we might do an engine change we're not too sure yet but the horrible gold wheels will be coming off and going to powder coating and the filler cap has had really bad repair which every single ka i've seen has had bad repair so we're going to put a full quarter in and do that this is sam's bad boy which is a peugeot gti6 that he used to use for drag strip racing and we're going to be doing a full-blown restoration right down to stripping down to a bare shell and starting from ground up because they're getting very rare now and the engine spec is 2 litre 16 valve hello bella now that's our black labrador isn't she a beautiful dog now in the background coming up now is our iveco cargo that we use for racing that we've converted out so you'd have to check the channel out because we can't show you inside that because we're well on the way with footage now moving on to the grand finale is the audi tt quattro and the ford fiesta they share the same wheelbase and we're going to be doing a full transplant with them too so that's coming up in the channel so i hope you've enjoyed walking around our cars with us now back to petrol ped don't forget have a beautiful time and stay safe so yeah a simply awesome range of cars and projects and i just love the fact that they're kind of everyman cars and everyman projects uh your ka was beautifully turned out if i remember rightly at donington you won the best turned out car and it really was stunning to look at in my rear view mirror <laughs> only joking boys um but yeah brilliant um i love the peugeot that i haven't seen one of those renos for a long long time so um if you want to find out more about the projects that they do i will put a link up above to shine automotive channel go and check them out and they do some great stuff uh next up actually another youtuber cars with paul um and cars with paul mate you have an unhealthy collection as well over to you show us around your rides hey peter how you doing mate i thought i'd participate in your video review as a small youtuber myself coming to you from the cars for paul workshop so the section that i thought that would be applicable for me would be the corona car owner virus because i have quite a few cars if you think of me as a bigger youtuber i will be the shimi 150 version of the lower end budget car owner that's me let me show you the um let me show you the kids okay so car number one most of my cars have nicknames and this car the st the rude boy we've had this for about six or seven months now um, the original damage was on the front here and this has been my temporary um, daily while i've been building um, the s3 but this has been a loyal car and it's done its uh, job for me over the last five or six months this has been really fun to drive it's actually a uh it's already been pre-tuned so this car has got a Peron stage 2 remap on there it's got uh h and r springs lowered by 35 mil uh mount tune um air box and a straight through exhaust and you'll definitely know that when you're on a motorway you can definitely hear the exhaust uh it's a pleasure to drive it's a really nice little car it's pushing out about 200 brake at the wheels according to the previous owner I'm not sure how true that is because i've never had it on a rolling road but it certainly is quicker than the average st that i've driven um this one is getting ready to be sold would i be sad to see it go yes and no it's been a fun car but i need the space so this one has to go car number two is my pride and joy this is my fiat to bath 135s 135 brake horsepower in a beautiful color that color is called compavola gray and just the name sounds italian as well this car has a name this is uh valentino and once you give a car a name you know what happens it's a keeper and this car at the moment is definitely a keeper now we are going to undergo some mods on this car in a not too distant future i'm working with a couple of partners on that and that's going to be in a forthcoming video but at the moment she's stuck what i've done to her so far we've given her some red caps on the uh, mirrors and she's got some new wheels with some little red caps there you can see a theme developing here got some stickers on the side coming up red as well just to give us that uh, that um gray and red theme i've had the front completely resprayed because we had a, a little bit of damage and one of the wings on the side here and um let me show you the exhaust on this car because the exhaust on here it's got a performance exhaust straight through back end boxes and these are not standard and boy do they sound really really nice and we've got the little scorpion there 
on the back of the diffuser. It's a really nice and fun car to drive. I've also fitted a TFT screen on this car plus an 8 total uh, radio as well. So it's not only fun to drive but it sounds really good from the inside as well. So this is car number two of the collection. Car number three is a little bit boring. It's an A1 Sport. It's 150 brake horsepower. It's my wife's daily. Nice little car. Um, got it from Audi um, Direct. Uh, nothing much more to say on this one other than it's uh, yeah, it's okay. It's a nice car and um, it goes well. That's about it really. But in all fairness, as an A1, it's actually quite nice. It's a black edition A1. Like I said, 150 brake horsepower. You've got all the black trimming on the side and also has a nice black grille. Comes with 80 inch wheels as standard and um, looks really great and goes very well. As a family, we really have too many cars, but this is car number four. So car number four, we call him Mini Me. It's a Seat Me. Uh, iTech so it comes with a sat nav this is my son's first car we got it from Kell Park for about £1,300 and all in all it cost me about £500 to put on the road so this must be the cheapest see it me in the whole of the UK on a 15 plate really low mileage and really doesn't it sips feel this car it is so economical and surprisingly really roomy on the inside as well and finally we have my new daily once it's finished this car I affectionately call Eleanor because it's been a real nightmare to put together. Had to replace the engine on this. You've probably seen the uh, videos if you've been, if you're watching this and you're a frequent follower, you know that we had to replace the whole engine. The whole front end has been off, DSG gearbox, the whole shebang. There's still some work that needs to be done on this car, but pretty much this car is a driver. We've just replaced all the airbags on there. This is my daily. We're going to be keeping this for a while, a long while. It's also going to have some mods done to it and we've got some things in the pipeline already in the bag and will be coming very shortly. It does need to be painted still, but it's getting so close. We're so close to getting this car done. I can almost taste the octane or the fuel. Um, but um, yeah, so Eleanor soon to be on a road near you. So that's my selection of coronaviruses, uh, five cars, lovely cars. If you want to see more about those cars, then you can see them on my channel. This is me giving myself a shameless little plug here. You can see all my plays on my channel. So go over, enjoy. I hope you enjoyed the little preview there. And thank you, Peter, for the opportunity to be able to uh, talk about my cars on your channel. So now over to you. So yes, a great plug at the end. I was gonna do it anyway, but you did it for yourself. Cars with Paul, I will put a link to your channel just up there. Head over and see uh, what he's up to. But yeah, brilliant. I love the little Abarth. I do like an Abarth, whether it's a 595, a 695, one of the early 500s. I just think they're brilliant little things. Um, great fun to drive, great cars, that's for sure. Now, a little surprise at the end, not a coronavirus, but I had this video and I kind of didn't know where to put it because it was quite short, but I just love the content of it. So we're gonna head over to Frank and Frank is gonna show us his Triumph Street Triple. This bike's lovely. Hey guys, this is my ride, a 2011 Triumph Street Triple, known to me as the Red Devil. This Triumph is a 675cc triple engine. Out of all the mods, it has the bar end mirrors on it, stock exhaust, and it's the last generation of the round bug eye headlight before Triumph did a total overhaul and redesigned the whole bike. I've had the bike since brand new and it has now over 70,000 kilometers on the clock and still puts a smile on my face every time I ride it. Thanks for watching guys, hopefully you'll add this to the collection. Now I have said on the channel before, I do love bikes and I appreciate them very much and that one was lovely. I've always loved Triumph bikes, but mate, 70,000 kilometers. It looks like you just wheeled it out the showroom. Absolute credit to you, my friend. Beautiful, beautiful thing. But guys, I hope you enjoyed that one. Um, if you have done so, please give me a thumbs up 
Comments below are always welcome, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petroped for plenty more content to come. Thank you to all of tonight's contributors. I think that's probably the episode with the most cars on it so far, but I'll see you on the next film, guys. You take care. Stay safe. <laughs>